The F-16 Fighting Falcon, one of the most versatile aircraft in the U.S. Air Force arsenal, has been a cornerstone of the Air Force Aerial Combat Fleet. First achieved its combat-ready status in October 1980, the aircraft has been modified to perform a variety of tasks excellently, including air-to-air -air combat, ground attack, and electronic warfare. Today, the air services of more than 25 different militaries throughout the world continue to fly F-16s, with around 3,000 Fighting Falcons in operational. So how good is the F-16? Well, we have wrapped up some important information for you. Let's check them out. Number 1. It was designed to be the world's top dogfighter. The F-16 Fighting Falcon can fly for more than 500 miles, deliver its weapons with superior accuracy, defend itself against enemy aircraft, and return to its starting point. In an air combat role, the F-16's maneuverability and combat radius exceed that of all potential threat fighter aircraft. It can locate targets in all weather conditions and detect low-flying aircraft in radar ground clutter. A report from 2015 revealed the findings of a series of dogfight experiments between the Fighting Falcon and America's newest stealth fighter, the F-35. The exercises reportedly took place on January 14, 2015 or the sea test range, which is a stretch of the Pacific Ocean near Edwards Air Force Base, California. The fight was between a modern F-16D Block 40 and an Air Force F-35A to the test out the F-35's capabilities as a close-range dogfighter in an air-to-air -air tangle with high angles of attack, or AOA, and aggressive stick pedal inputs. The F-35 was flying clean, without armaments in its bomb bay, wings, or fuselage. The F-16, on the other hand, was carrying two huge underwing drop tanks, placing it at an aerodynamic disadvantage. However, the F-35, according to the report, was no match for the fourth-generation aircraft. Despite the debate, the test pilot stated that even with the limited 16-tarpet configuration, the F-35 seemed to immediately struggle, unable to line up the Viper in its sights for notional firearms. The F-35 pilot attempted to hit the F-16 with the stealth jet's 25mm cannon, but the smaller F-16 easily dodged making the F-35A at a significant energy deficit in every engagement. And when the pilot of the F-16 turned the tables on the F-35, maneuvering to place the stealth fighter in his own gunsight, the F-35 could not get out of the way and the tight-turning Viper might have a chance at scoring a kill on the F-35. Number 2. It has great value for money. The F-16 light fighter is faster and more maneuverable and it costs around $18 million in 1999 or $27 million in 2017. This remarkable bang-for-buck ratio has not gone unnoticed by air forces all over the world, as the F-16 remains the most popular aircraft in modern military service, of which about 2,700 of the 4,500 built are still in service in approximately 26 countries. Needless to say, the cutting-edge fourth-generation fighter from the 1980s will be around for a long time, with a service life of 18 to 20 years. Moreover, the new F-16s features conformal fuel tanks, which greatly extend the Falcon's short range at low aerodynamic cost, as well as an APG-80 active electronically scanned array radar. These make the Fighting Falcon as proven to be an excellent and versatile combat jet, with minimal maintenance and operational costs. According to one estimate, it costs $22,000 per flight hour to operate, compared to $42,000 for a twin-engine F-15. Number 3. Its great tech support and upgrades are already in place and available worldwide. The F-16 is a strategic and beneficial choice for many customers around the world seeking advanced fighter aircraft capabilities, regional and global partnerships, and reasonable life cycle costs. To date, 4000 588 F-16s have been produced for 28 customers, and it continues to advance to keep ahead of future threats by utilizing combat lessons learned and capabilities developed on Lockheed Martin's F-22 and F-35. For these reasons and another, five nations have chosen the new 16 Block 7072. Indonesian Air Force, for example, with current fleet of 34 16 Block 15 aircraft, has existing 16 support equipment and spares, 
as well as qualified pilots and maintenance personnel. That fleet just underwent mid-life structural, as well as avionics upgrades that will keep them capable for decades. This existing fleet would be supplemented and augmented by new Block 72 jets. The latest 16 Block 7072 combines sophisticated 16 capability enhancements with structural modifications, including structural life that is more than 50% longer than prior 16 aircraft production. The Indonesian Air Force's configuration is further upgraded with a sophisticated data link, targeting pod and armaments, as well as accuracy GPS navigation and the automatic ground collision avoidance system, allowing it to function in a net-centric data environment. Hence, the 16 Block 72, with the essential 16 experience and infrastructure already in place, would offer the Indonesian Air Force a more seamless efficient transfer and cost-effective operations, guaranteeing it is ready for any mission at any time. Number 4. It is combat-proven and racked up many kills. The F-16 Fighting Falcon is one of the most successful and combat-proven military aircraft in history. Being in service with forces throughout the world, it has already participated in over 400,000 combat missions and amassed a total of 19 million flying hours. The U.S. Air Force, a 16 fleet, first saw combat in the 1991 Persian Gulf War in support of Operation Desert Storm, where it flew more than 13,000 strike missions armed with 2,000-pound bombs and Maverick missiles. S-16s launched the greatest air strike in history over downtown Baghdad, in which 72 aircraft performed the package Q airstrike, and one squadron undertook wild weasel tasks, tracking down Iraqi surface-to-air missile batteries with AGM-88 Harm missiles. Although two of the Falcons were shot down by air defense missiles and their pilots were captured, after the formal conclusion of hostilities, F-16s enforcing the no-fly zone over Iraq, killed a fast Mate 25 Foxbat with the long-range AM-120 Scorpion missile. Since the Gulf War, the Falcon has been prevalent in U.S. and NATO air assaults over the former Yugoslavia, Iraq, and Syria. During the 1990s, American and Belgian F-16s shot down additional enemy fighters over Serbia and Kosovo during the 1990s, though two were brought down by Serb surface-to-air missiles. In 1992, two Venezuelan Falcons pilots played a key role in defeating a coup by supporters of Hugo Chaves by putting down two rebel OV-10 Broncos and a Tucano trainer. By one count, the Falcon has shot down 76 enemy aircraft, while only incurring one or two losses in aerial combat, usually under questionable circumstances. As a result, since September 11, 2001, the F-16 Fighting Falcon has been a key component of the combat forces engaged in the global war on terrorism, flying thousands of sorties in support of Operations Noble Eagle, Homeland Defense, enduring freedom in Afghanistan and Iraqi freedom. That's all for today. Thanks for watching and see you next time.